if you're currently on the ALS training or you've applied for the September cohort, because if you've not applied, I don't know what you're waiting for. The application is currently open and you have to watch this video for tips and tricks on how you can apply and get accepted. Don't just go to the website and click on apply. Okay, make sure you watch this video till the very end and watch this one on my experience so far. All right, so in this video, I want to share with you my VA CV and cover letter. We are currently in week six and this is part of our mini project for this week. Writing your CV, cover letter and optimizing your LinkedIn profile. If you've followed me for a while now, you'll know that these are things I do professionally. But as I mentioned in this video, I started this VA journey as if I I don't know anything so i want to share my va cv and cover letter with you in this video but later today i'm going to post a video taking you through my linkedin profile my virtual assistant linkedin profile because you know i have a linkedin profile already and i created a second linkedin profile if you want to know how i did this make sure to turn on your notification and if you've not subscribed already to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification so you don't miss that video i'm going to be posting it later today maybe by 3 p.m or so <laughs> all right so let's head to my computer now and let me take you through my bscv and cover later like this video by the way thank you so much so this is what my virtual assistant cv looks like let's start from the name the file is saved with my first and last name underscore resume don't go and save your own with updated resume or virtual assistant resume or main virtual assistant resume save it with your first and last name underscore resume or cv all right so this is my header i love using this template as i said already some of you know that this is what i do professionally yeah mm -hmm. so i have a lot of templates i use and i love this one in particular okay so let's go through it my my first and last name i love adding this <laughs> i love adding the title of the job i am applying for you can add your professional title here whatever you want to use administrative virtual assistant whatever virtual assistant you want to use my official email address my phone number my linkedin url if i click on here you will see my linkedin url yes this is it it's optimized so you can add your url here make sure you optimize your linkedin first this is where my portfolio will go to as you can see it's not currently highlighted because i'm still working on my portfolio and if you would like me to make a video taking you through the process just drop the word portfolio in the comment section and if i have up to 10 comments on the word portfolio i'm going to take you through the process of creating my virtual assistant portfolio so that you can copy it and create yours especially if you don't have any experience at all i'm going to show you how you can walk around it so if you like me to make that video kindly comment the word portfolio and i will take you through my process because i am currently working on it and i don't mind starting from the beginning for you okay all right so the next thing is this is supposed to be where you write your address but i just wrote working remotely there this is just me you can choose to do yours anyhow you want to do it okay so according to the template that was shared i think three templates this is where you're supposed to write summary yeah normally i write professional summary here for my clients and i also use this format that i'm using currently so you can choose to copy my format what i have here is the niche or the niches <laughs> i would like to focus on as a virtual assistant administrative assistance content and content creation as you know already this is something i do okay so this is what my professional summary looks like yeah moving on to my work experience i know you're looking at my work experience and you're like where did this girl get, get all this work experience from <laughs> you'll be surprised okay let's start from the bottom all right so there was a time i was an assistant i worked with the secretary of pdp and that was around march i can't remember i can't recall vividly but this is the closest <laughs> yeah so that's what i used here that's the work experience i used here as is i didn't have a title yeah so i just give myself this title executive assistant moving up uh this is my friend we've worked together quite a number of time right from when i was in school yes yeah, so he can attest to my work ethics <laughs> this experience right here is part of our week seven mini project yes but the tax was given in week six 
you know, to reach out to your connections or your network. If you've gone through your weekly module, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so this is the experience already. He sent me the task, so I've not done the task yet, but I decided to use it on my CV. <laughs> yeah, so this is it. Virtual assistant for Mr. Diala. Yeah, so that's it. So my recent experience is my content creation. So I had to use this here because it's what I am currently doing and it's part of the niche I want to focus on. All right, so that's it for my work experience. Now let's move on to my skills. Yay. So for the skill section, this is what I usually do for my clients. I can either list out the skills or write a sentence, which is the approach I am using here. Okay. Instead of just listing out the skills, this also helps me outline the different uh, tools, different tools I am familiar with instead of just listing them and I'm having a long line and then it will split over or it will just look weird if I'm using maybe bullet point for each it will look weird so this is what I choose to do for myself you can opt for this if you want or you can just go with the listing as well another reason I choose to use this format is because of the job description the job I am applying for this way I am able to incorporate keywords from the job description not just in my work experiences or professional summary but also in my skills section all right so this is why i did that so this is one of the reasons i did that as well so i kept my skill to one two three four five six i didn't want my resume to split into three pages that would be too much here i have administrative assistance time management communication content creation and management technology proficiency my workflow tools where i have where i have listed all the tools i am familiar with not necessarily all but the ones that are vital and the ones that were mentioned in the job description <laughs> okay so i have them listed here problem solving and then that's uh, for my skill section okay so here we have my education and next is my certifications i have a lot of certifications but so these are the only certifications i have here I have the mckenzie forward program i did in 2022 this is so important it's about problem solving uh project management and the like so yeah i believe it's going to be important all right so i added i also added alx so since we're not done i have in progress here so that's basically it for my cv okay so you can just go through it later pause it if need be and you know create yours or update yours if you've created it already and you see something you like and you like to add it to yours you can do that okay now let's move on to my cover later so this is the format i choose to use this is something i add to my client's cover later i just write re-application for the virtual assistant position or customer service position or whatever position my clients are applying for yeah i have that here so dear hiring manager do not start with the cliche of i am writing to yeah you know the cliche okay so i did not start with that cliche i started with something like when i discovered the virtual assistant position at persona i was immediately drawn to the opportunity to bring my executive support expertise and innovative problem solving skills to your team my background in managing high stakes administrative tasks and coordinating with diverse stakeholders positions me to deliver exceptional value as a virtual assistant partner in scaling your clients businesses so basically the words you're hearing me use are from the job description here so my second paragraph that's it for my first paragraph my second paragraph is about my work experience a few I think two of it. I use only two here. I did not use my content creation here because it wasn't part of the job description. I didn't see content creation there. <laughs> Maybe I'll check later before I apply. All right. So that's it for my second paragraph. It's about my experience in the field. Okay. So my third paragraph is about my skills. I have a deep understanding of the importance of effective communication, organization, and problem solving. Blah, 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 blah. Here we have it. This is just about my skills. Okay. There's something here. I am committed to delivering top-notch support to your clients and ready to work full-time during U.S. business hours. This was part of the job description as well. So that's it for my third paragraph. Finally is my sign-out.
and I will be open to discuss more about the role in an interview. Okay, so finally, sincerely, Infon Akban. So that's it for my cover later. I'm trying to be very fast because my system is about to go off. <laughs> that's it. Let me know in the comment section if you like me to create the portfolio video. Okay, just comment portfolio. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section as well. So that's what my CV and cover letter looks like for my virtual assistant career journey. So you can get ideas from there and do yours. I know they shared some templates, but you can copy mine. I don't mind. However, if you want me to do yours, reach out to me on WhatsApp and let's work together. If this video was helpful to you, let me know in the comment section. This will motivate me more to keep sharing my VA journey with you. And if you have any questions at all, drop them in the comment section. And as always, I will reply you as soon as I get it. I will see you in a few hours. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my VA LinkedIn video. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you there.